Why is God a jealous God? Why is he called a jealous God? It's very important to understand how the word jealous is used. We see that its use is in Exodus 20 verse 5 which says thou shall not bow down thyself unto them nor serve them for i the lord thy god i am a jealous god visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me so we understand that to describe god is different from how it used to describe the sin of jealousy in Galatians 5 verse 20. Remember what it says? Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. You see, when we use the word jealous, we use it in the sense of being envious of someone who has something that we do not have. A person might be jealous or envious of another person because he or she has a nice car or a nice home, you see, possessions. Or a person might be jealous or envy, maybe envy another person or envious of another person because of some ability or skill that the other person has. Getting the point? For example, maybe we can say somebody is athletic he has maybe some good advantage over you in one way or another and uh, another example will be that that one of a person how he might be jealous or envious of another because of maybe beauty and things like that but we see in the in the book of exodus 20 verse 5 uh, the bible tells us thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I thy Lord am a jealous God why is God saying this it's 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 not that God is jealous or envious because someone else has something that he wants or he needs but uh, the Bible continues and says you shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below Thou shalt not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord, your God, I am a jealous God. Notice that God is jealous when someone gives to another something that rightly belongs to him. In these verses, God is speaking of people making idols and bowing down and worshipping those idols instead of giving God the worship that belongs to him alone. God is possessive of the worship and serve it that belongs to him. It is a sin. Because God points out this commandment to worship or serve anything other than God is a sin. Even when we desire or we are envious or we are jealous of someone because he or she has something that we do not have, it's a different use of the word jealous. When God says he's jealous, what is jealous of belongs to him. Worship and service belong to him alone. And uh, are to be given to him only and perhaps perhaps a practical example will help us understand the difference if a husband sees another man flirting with his wife he is right to be jealous for only he has the right to flirt with his wife and this type of jealousy is not sinful rather it is entirely appropriate And being jealous for something that God declares to belong to you is good and appropriate. Because jealousy is a sin when it is a desire for something that does not belong to you. Worship, praise, honor, adoration belong to God alone. For only He is truly worth of it. Worthy of it, I may say. Therefore, God is rightly jealous when worship and praise and honor, adoration is given to idols. This is precisely the jealousy that the Apostle Paul described in 2 Corinthians 11 verse 2, whereby he said, I am jealous for you. I'm jealous for you with a godly jealous. 
I don't know if you got the point here. So that's something that we need to put in our minds so clearly and understand that God is a jealous God and he wants us to do what is right. Are you walking in his way? Are you walking in his ways? Hope this has been a blessing to you. Hope it has encouraged you in one way or another. Alright, see you in the next one.